Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So I want to talk to you about fatwood. Now, I know I make a lot of silly things, but this is like a legit real thing that's helpful to know. So fatwood is wood that is saturated with sap. You can see this is old sap that's like kind of hardened, but you can see the dark coloration where it's really soaked in. Now where you find that on a tree are in V's down here. So if you were to cut that, you could maybe find some in there or near stumps of dead trees. Um, so what's awesome about this, let's see this real quick, is that it is very, very easy to light. It acts kind of like a nature's candle. Um, Right, the sap is kind of like the wax and the wood is like the wick. Um, so really easy to light. Uh, I did some tests the other night. We're gonna retest on, on camera of fat wood being wet and still being lightable. So we're gonna check that out, see if it works. It should be fun. Are we gonna start that fire? Yeah, we're gonna start this because I'm about to get cold. It smells quite nice, like Christmas. Yeah. Something you'll notice though, is the flame is not as bright as other flames. It's more of like a orange. It's not as hot, like I'm putting my finger in the flame. Here, I'll pull this out. I don't know if I'm cold. I mean, you can see my, the soot. I put my finger in that flame. Uh, it's not as hot, but it lasts a long time. And it's pretty wind resistant, as you can see right there. And then if you take the time to strip them into small pieces, boy howdy, you're in for a good warm fire. It'll be great. My nose just dripped like down to my lip. Ah, nature. Get out, get runny noses. It's good for you. So you can see just in those two pieces, the rest of the wood we found on these trees around us and it's been snowing the last couple days. So they're not exactly dry. Um, the fat wood I actually got from a 2x4, but you can you can find it out in nature, just YouTube it. I mean, you're here on YouTube already, so just keep going down the rabbit hole. Anyways, we're going to shoot some more and get back to you. I got you. Beowulf! <laughs> oh. I am nature! I am the talons in the dark! I, I think that rattled his brain. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys. I don't know if you just saw that, but I was in the river. And it's like, I don't know, how, how cold is it in, out here, Wyatt? It's plenty. plenty okay, cold. you can see I'm soaked. This is coming out of soaked water. I was in there for what? 30 seconds, not long. We'll put the clip in. Anyways, so this piece of wood is completely drenched. And it was drenched between two pieces of fabric. So we're gonna see how quick it lights. I should probably be using the lighter for this. So check that out. I mean, it's kind of going out, but if you've got a sustained flame of any sort, with a lighter on you, that it's soaking wet. I think what happens is the sap kind of insulates it from the water. Not only that, I mean, sap's highly flammable. So between those two, you're getting a pretty legit little candle. So if you can, put this in your bug out bag, carry it with you if you in like more natural survivalism, primitive stuff, you know, put it in your possible bag with a nice nest 
of some sort that, um, but I think fat wood mixed with uh, those cotton balls and Vaseline, oh, you're golden, you, you'll survive. So anyways, I thought, I thought it was kind of cool. Please subscribe to my videos, it really helps. Um, especially if you like them, I'll keep doing them. I am drenched in like 30 degree weather because I love you and uh, I love nature. So we're gonna do more fun videos, so please subscribe. As always, stay Viking. Uh, we're gonna do some educational things where you're gonna learn some stuff and we're gonna do some more crazy bogus off the wall. Hopefully you scrunch your nose and your eyes and be like, what the heck did I just watch? Mixed with laughter. So anyways, stay Viking.